What's happening, y'all? I wanted to talk to you about 111 Hertz. You can see the 111 Hertz up there, and how it lines up with the windows behind the Last Supper. It also lines up with the window, with the three doors and the pyramids of Egypt, the three doors and the pyramids of the Mayan temples, and the three doors on the temples of the Indonesian on my last video that you'll see. I just wanted to do a, a clear video because I was cutting out a lot and I was in the dark last night making that video because I literally just found this connection last night. And so the hypogeum chamber to underground chamber and that resonates at 111 hertz as well. So we're talking about the days of the dead on 11.1. We're talking about the dead. So, Jesus was crucified on 4-3, equaling 67 hertz on my chart, my calendar cipher, when 67, 670 minutes equals 1, 1, equals, equals 11, 10 in time, which is like 1, 1, 1 hertz, like the doors back there. So, this is all, this all goes back to the encomienda system that was released by the, the Spanish crown giving colonialists the right to enslave and genocide anybody that was on the land that they made claim to. So, like Resolution 181, established in 1947 on 11-29, the 333rd day of the year, like 111 plus 111 plus 111 equals 333, the 333rd day, Resolution 181. So, this is, this goes back to the story of Romo slaying his twin brother Remo in 44 BC, the start of the Lemuria on 5-9. Romo slays his twin brother Remo, 181. The etymology of Ro means man, more man, slays more re. What does re mean? It's the solfregial tone equaling note D, equaling the ninth note, equaling nine hertz. Four plus three plus two equals nine. 432 hertz, digital root equals nine hertz. So it's simple to say that 440 hertz slays 432 hertz. This goes back to the March of Ides. The March of Ides, uh, Julius Caesar was stabbed 33 times, and this is in 44 BC, and the fall of the Roman Republic, the rise of the Roman Empire, the Roman Republic falls, R Remo gets slayed, so the note Re is getting slayed. So, the, the date 5-9, this is the Day of the Dead, like the Belfort Declaration being signed on 11-2, like the Days of the Dead on 11-2, with 59 days remaining, like the Lemuria on 5-9. This is just one giant little uh, ritual spell on the Christ Consciousness, which is our inner uh, crystal monologue, our, our inner monologue. We, we speak through our throat chakra, but we also have an inner monologue that we sit and think to ourselves with, and that's literally our Christ consciousness. And I'll get into that on another video, but let's talk about 111 hertz and how it's, we're talking about the days of the dead here on 11-1, and the Indian Removal Act of 1830 on 528, the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, and when in time, when eight, eight, in time, 1830 equals 18.5 hours, equaling 1110 minutes. So the hypogeum chamber is an underground, cham underground temple in Malta, and it resonates at 111 hertz. And the burial mounds, the, the, Cairn, the Cairn burial mounds, uh, discovered by Paul Devereaux, he did, he did a lot of miss missions on the acoustics on... Uh, Stonehenge and he he had a big movement on redeeming the knowledge about the ley lines of the earth and he, it's a whole nother rabbit hole you guys should research research him but uh, he discovered that these Cairn mounds but uh, resonated 111 Hertz as well like the days of the dead these are burial mounds like the underground uh, hypogeum temple being 111 hertz the whole the holy frequency like uh, on winter solstice when the Sun literally stops for three three days of the longest days of night 
implying a death because it literally stops on the same sets in the exact same spot before it starts moving back towards the longer days of sunlight so on 1221 the sun dies on the cross whenever 111 plus 1110 equals 1221 like 111 Hertz being the holy frequency and the burial mounds being 111 Hertz and what are the Cairns burial mounds that they were mar mark boundary markers for the colonialists but for the, for the Native Americans they were honoring their fallen comrades that were in battle because of uh, the Indian Removal Act of 1830 and the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 when these colonial settlers were coming in mining all the gold. The California Gold Rush started in 1850, like the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850. So, uh, yeah, the, en the Encomienda 181. So Christ had his last supper on 4-2. April April 4th after right after April Fools being the 91st day of the year like 91 minutes equaling 131 and 1331 minutes or 1331 in time equals 131 which this all equals 181 this is all part of the, the 181 resolution so I just lost track here yeah so 4-2 April 4th, that's whenever Jesus had his Last Supper, which is this painting up here with the 111, Days of the Dead, windows being opened behind him. So, the, four, four, the 42nd crime equals 181. And the dimensions of the Last Supper painting by Leonardo da Vinci equals 346 inches by 181 inches. So, 181, 18 the other one. Let's go back to the March of Ides and uh, how that happened in 44 BC. Uh, Caesar was stabbed 33 times, just like Jesus dying on 4-3. The next day after 4-2, he's crucified on 4-3, being three months and three days. He died at age 33 in 33 AD, like Julius Caesar being stabbed 33 times. In 44 BC, Romo slays his twin brother Remo in 44 BC, 181. The March of Ides that happened in 315, 315 divided by five, five platonic solids equals 63 when the date 630, 630 equals 181 days. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm cutting out here. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm not even really looking at the chart here behind that. This, all this information. This is all extra that uh, I'm just kind of winging this. So yeah, on 4-3, that equals 6. The date that Christ is crucified on my calendar, or according to the Bible, is on 4-3. On my calendar cipher, 4-3 lines up with 67 hertz when 670 in time equals 1110 in time, which is 111, like the Days of the Dead, I'm 11 one, like 111 hertz equaling the, the holy frequency, 111 plus 1110 equals 1221, the winter solstice when the sun literally dies on the celestial cross for three days, the longest days of night, um, so on, after Christ is crucified on 4-3, the next day is 4-4, four, four, like 44 BC, like 440, like 44 hertz. The new frequency starts when he is gone. And yeah, the David, or excuse me, pa Paul Devereaux discovered that Pythagorean created his acoustic system based off of those barrow grounds. 345 minus 111 equals 234. Earth heart tilts at 234. 543 mirroring 345. 